Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Unsung Hero. This week's hero is going to be Jean-Pierre and some place for young boys band in Switzerland. 3 star, 4 star, but really, really good stats. R reminds me a bit of that Edouard card I did uh, a while back. Uh, put him in this team and yes, now I have future stars. I packed a lot and I did the SBC for the other Portuguese guy. But let's see what this team can do. And the first opponent as a pretty normal uh, Premier League Bundesliga hybrid, nothing too special, so I can definitely win. First chance for me, a bit of magic with Ronaldinho, gives the ball to Dramario, back to Ronaldinho, great shot, and of course Ronaldinho is going to hit that. Then Calvert-Lewin gets a big opportunity, great chip from the Everton striker, and it's 1-1, very bad defending for me, but then, how bad can it get? Just passing the ball around, just stupidly passing the ball around, there's no point in doing this. He gets through, gives the ball to Timo Werner, and that's an easy goal. Calvert-Lewin's chip, we all remember it, but Ensam can do it too. On his right foot, great chip for his first goal for this club. Great stuff from him. Then, uh, we're not done yet, great defensive effort from Ruben Diaz, who was really a solid defender in my team. Second half, Rafa gives the ball to Ensam. He's on the flank, so he needs to cross the ball. And then a stupid mistake from Alan, way too aggressive and that's always a penalty. Imagine you get a normal penalty in FIFA. Of course I take the penalty with uh, Enzom. And he scores the second goal of the game. I then get a bit lucky and saved by the FIFA gods because he hits the crossbar with Ronaldo. So it could have been 3-3 three, three and then a totally different game. But now we get it. Bad throw in from him, gives the ball to Enzom. He thinks I'm going to pass to Timo Werner, I'm not. Cut inside, then ball gets deflected, but still great shot from Enzam. Then Rafa with a bit of magic, just a bit of skill, and then I take a shot from outside the box. Great save from Nick Pope. We get a corner kick with Ronaldinho. Ball can't reach Enzam, who has really great heading stats, but I didn't really notice it in this game. We get a throw in, get the ball to Rafa, who gets the ball to Duncan. To Ronaldinho, to Enzam, he takes a, a finesse shot from outside of the box and that flies in. Fourth goal of the game and then this is what I love to see, my right winger playing great defense on Rashford. One great tackle, gives the ball to Davis, gives the ball back to Rashford and again I'm there. Great stuff from him, we end up winning the game 2-5, of course Enzam is going to be man of the match. Scored four goals in four attempts, those are amazing stats. But yeah, let's see what he can do in the second game. The second opponent has a, has a better team. A couple of cool cards like that Gravenberg and uh, for chance rewards Malen. Of course, Moments to War is very dangerous. Suleimani gets the ball and I have a great header in me with uh, Enzam, but he gives the ball to John Mario. Then Nick Pope fucks up, gives the ball easily to Enzam, that's a goal. So you see Nick Pope uh, can't save everything. Gonzalez gives the ball to Enzam. I should have tried the chip. I think that would, would have been a, a lot better. Great stuff from uh, Ederson. Saves the ball two times and then he gets the ball. Great stuff from him. And then how defense can lead to offense. I block a shot here. Carrasco gives the ball. I get the ball with Ruben Diaz. And then we go on to the counter attack. We have pace to burn up front. Gives the ball to Nzam. Back to him. Then great run to the corner. I don't really see anyone in front of goal, so I wait a bit, wait a bit, wait a bit. Then it's completely free for me. Give the ball to Ronaldinho, and that's a goal. So yeah, you can't really give me that much pace. Again, great tackle from uh, Ruben Diaz. He just can do it all. He gets a corner kick. Tries to give the ball to De Jong. De Jong gets uh, intercepted by Ronaldinho. Imagine that. And then the counter-attack of Dreams. We're two on goal. 1v1 versus the goalkeeper. Just stay calm and composed. And that's a great shot. Great goal. 3-0 up in the first half. He gets one back with a great shot with Yannick Carrasco. Can't say anything bad about that. That's just a great shot. He fouls me. He doesn't even get a card with Ferran. Because, I mean, that's obviously not a foul. Uh, then I get a shot with uh, Enzam, but it doesn't fly in. Ronaldinho, true on goal. 
cut inside and normally Ronaldinho doesn't miss these chances but now he does, real shame. Then uh, we're still attacking because why not, good football, Gonzalez, he sees Nzam making a great run, he gives him the ball, great volley, but there's a VAR check, we're gonna check if it's offside, we see the line here and yeah that's definitely offside, uh, Ronaldinho is even more offside but he didn't get the ball, so yeah he got he got it right, then Gomez is not strong enough to keep off and Zom gives the ball to Ronaldinho and that's 4-1, the game is done. Game ends with that 4-1 scoreline, if my opponent decides to kick, kick off. Yes, there he is. So the game ends off with a great victory from us and Zom again was really, really good. So now coming to the conclusion, should you put him in your team? Yes, please. You can you can link him with uh, icon Eto if if you have the money, uh, or with any other icon of course, or you can link him with a Toko Ekambi whose headliner card got upgraded uh, yesterday, so uh, then you have a, a bit of a partnership going on. But that's going to be all for this week's episode of Unsung Hero. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.